Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Blackwell Convergence. Rosa says hi. Joey is ignoring you, though. Joey doesn't like you, all you people out on the internet. He doesn't get you. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go. Head to the right, uh, um um dum -ba -dum -ba -dum, the uh, the gallery, park gallery. Yes. Take the elevator. Uh, the bridge is gone. Go to the park gallery, or uh, maybe we should go to Cubestar Films first. Mm, now nah, let's go to the park gallery. <clears throat> Are you open yet? There, it's her. I knew it. Now look at that, and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Huh. Uh, it's lighthouse. just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. Well, don't really care about touch that. It. Josie would get mad. Don't really care if she's sad, because she's evil. Hey, Josie. Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's ask about the painting. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the dark lady. Yep. It's different than his other paintings. I'm Very. worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? Um, I would like to know more what about the dark lady. Can you tell me about the dark lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She yeah. strikes all right. I still got the scars. Oh, it gets weird when I ask who she up, is Joey. or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure Ding. it's just one of those eccentric artist things. Well, now we know where to go. Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's now we know where to go. It's been a while since I've been over there. Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Could the Countess and the Lighthouse be connected? Could be. You mentioned something about investors. Oh, yes. The Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. The renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Meltzer Foundation. Josie told us about a company that invested a lot of money in her gallery. That sounds kind of familiar, too. Where is Where Cla can I find Claude? Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? Booze. Yeah. Glug glug. Yep. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. Uh. Yeah! You know something about that, don't you, Rosa? Ooh. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof, they wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. Yeah, it is pretty generous. I never thought I was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to bring them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income, but look around. It's my life's dream realized. This is your life's dream? Do you know anything about Frank Lyon's death? Spooky, isn't it? Imagine some poor Monique. Yeah, Trump. Yep, alright. Um, Thanks, Josie. Sure, Angela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. Y you will? Are, are you sure? Can I can I look at the this fire exit? This is just the fire exit. If nope. Can I look at the fire exit? Looks like it leads to a fire escape. That's Josie Park. She seems nice. He looks bored. Too bad. All right. Oh, well, uh, let's take the stairs then. There's Roosevelt Island Park Gallery. Let's go back to Cube Star Films. Come in. Ah, uh, the cat came in because it was raining out. Yeah. Oh, good. Hello. Again. Again. <sighs> Open our notebook. Let's ask about the Meltzer Foundation first. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why? Are you looking for a loan? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Uh oh. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back since the film was such a success. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. Um. Is anyone else getting a. Uh, the sinking suspicion? About how the Meltzer Foundation makes their money back that they loan out. 
I'd like to know the truth about Frank's death. Yes, what tell me. What do you mean? I told you everything I know. Not everything. He didn't have a heart attack, did he? Oh, I love seeing sweat on a pretty girl's brow. Look, I gave my statement. I don't see why I should tell you anything. I imagine you like seeing the uh, sweat in another situation, Joey, which you can't engage in anymore. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> the chat, Ah, <laughs> oh, I love getting the digs in. Actually, I wonder if we could re-ask her that and, like, force the issue. Let's, maybe we should go do that. Come in. Oh, hello. Monique, I'm a writer. We like to exaggerate the truth sometimes. Yes, what are you getting at? Let's say I wanted to embellish Frank's story. That instead of dying of a heart attack, he may be choked to death under mysterious circumstances. Rosangela, Frank died of a heart attack. He didn't choke to death. Are you sure? Positive. If he mysteriously choked to death, and the press got wind of it, the scandal would ruin this company. It's much Why? easier to tell the press that he died of a heart attack. He had no close family, he had no close friends to speak of. Nobody loses. I trust we understand each other, and I won't have to call my lawyer. Ooh. Leave it, kid. We don't want a legal battle. No, I have all the information I need. How were they able to tell the press? I mean, I I, I would think that the, the press would confirm it with sure. the medical examiner. Um, we could go to Roosevelt Island, but let's go to the Mineta Tavern first. Oh, yeah, there is Claude. Um. Talk to the bartender Hi first. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Do you know anything Can about the Meltzer Foundation? Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? No, sorry. All right, you know what? Before we talk to Claude, let's see if we can uh, do an Google search for uh, the Meltzer Foundation. Is Nishanti home? Nishanti isn't home. Oh, man. Nishanti's busy lately. No wonder we're not seeing her much of each other. Any mail? Nope. Oogle! Meltzer Foundation. No results found. Uh, Meltzer? Ah. New location, Meltzer Foundation. You can find anything online these days. They are located in the financial district. The Meltzer Foundation, 24 Fulton Street, Suite 1401, New York, New York. Okay. Let's go. All right. For a second there, I thought this was like the top of a head and a glowy eye. And, and like a jaw or something, but no, it's a dollar bill, a penny, and some other change. Um, I suppose we can go talk to Claude first. Hey, Claude! Claude? Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. You remember me. I uh, okay, might want to pass on the drink. down three glasses of claret in half an hour. <laughs> ah, Joey. If you were... If you were corporeal, I would elbow you, elbow you right now. So ask about his drinking habits. early to be drinking. Says the woman who had to be carried home the other night by an old Indian lady. My opening is tonight, and I intend to be well and truly plastered. It's the only way I'll be able to bear it. That's kind of harsh. I'd like to talk to you about your work. I'd love to, but I'm not drunk enough. Hmm. What about the dark lady? I really like that painting of yours. The dark lady? Pfft. My paintings aren't meant to be liked. They are meant... What? to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. Hmm. Let's I'd keep really asking like about, to know the more about the Dark Lady. I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. Well, hurry up How and drink. Is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. What do you think of the park gallery? It's alright, I guess. I don't know what Josie sees in my stuff. 
She doesn't understand it at all. She likes it enough to risk her money on it. Liking it isn't the same as understanding it. Still, Josie's been good to me. How could I say no? Oh, liking it isn't the same as understanding it. <laughs> Do you know Monique Stallman? She was at the gallery the other night, yeah? Yep. Uh -huh. She told me my work was awful. I liked her. She <laughs> insulted your work, but you liked her. Sure. She was honest. She didn't pretend to be awed by it like all the other phonies do. Well, I suppose that's good. Let's ask about the Manetta. Here often? Enough. It's old fashioned, you know. Yeah, we kinda picked that picked up on that. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? He died a few months ago, didn't he? Yeah. Never saw his work. Don't go to the movies much. Probably too busy drinking and can't afford it. You know anything about the uh, Joe Gould? You fund? know about Joe Gould. Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. I think the latter. Ah! Did you just say Joseph Mitchell? He did. Joseph Mitchell. Joey told me last night that Joseph Mitchell's writing killed people. According to Claude, he had something to do with making Joe Gould famous. What can you tell me about Joseph Mitchell? Could you tell me more about Joseph Mitchell? Another of the city's great geniuses. Gone. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you seem like the most fascinating person alive. They wouldn't be alive for long. <laughs> but then he stopped writing. Nobody knows why, at least not for sure. He published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof, no more writing. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years, but never wrote a single word. Yeah, really gotta wonder why they paid, paid for it. Oh man, I just had the, I, I wanted to say a line from MST3K and I can't remember part of it. Oh. Uh, oh, damn it. Although it would work with, uh, Joseph Mitchell killed me. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Probably doesn't Those know Those are the guys who are funding Josie's gallery? Yep. Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I'd just throw colors at a canvas. That explains a lot about your work. Did we, uh, Do you know anything about Frank Lyons? The he died if Yeah. Never saw it. Oh, that's right. All right. Can we get I'd some really more? like to know... I have a rule. How dr I'm not sure. Oh. Bye, Claude. Okay. Yeah. Should we look at the portrait again? It's a portrait of... Nope. I can't talk to... All right. Well, um... Head back first. Talk Let's to Joey. talk, Joey. This had better be important, sweetheart. It is. So what should we do now? You've got the Meltzer's address off your computer box thing, right? <laughs> Let's get going if we're going. <laughs> computer box thing. Ah, uh, that's a good, good description. This elevator. Yeah, how about that? I have an idea. Oops. How about pushing the button? Push oh, the button, Frank. Right. Well, let's get going. After you, babe. Let's ask about Joseph I heard Mitchell. about Joseph Mitchell back when I studied journalism. He sounded fascinating. What was he like? Southern guy, very soft-spoken. Seemed like a wimp, but had more backbone than I gave him credit for. I can't believe you and Auntie met him. He almost got your auntie killed. Remember that? Well, it wasn't exactly his fault. I mean, he did stop writing once he realized what was happening. All right. That's all for now. Sure. Maybe we should go to the Roosevelt Island first. Here we are. I don't see any ghosts. Do you sense anything? Nope. Seems clean to me. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts anyway. Well, what else could there be? Uh, I see the lighthouse. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. I read a book about this place. Nobody. Yeah, I guess we can't do anything. Uh, let's switch to Joey. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who. Let's chat a second. Yes. 
Huh. There's no sound. I guess I didn't record that this one. Sax music, huh? I guess this is where... Oh, yeah, it was on Roosevelt Island, wasn't it? Uh... I thought we were done with Mitchell 30 years ago. Apparently not. Maybe this has nothing to do with Mitchell. And maybe mm. pigs do yeah. fly. Hmm. <laughs> hey, they do fly in Spelljammer. Meltzer seems like a legit outfit, but something shady is going on there. How can you tell? Haven't you noticed? All the threads lead there. We just gotta keep following them and see where they lead. This Joe Gould wandering around. He was a bohe- Who knew you- I think- You think- Well, the Okay. So who is Frank Lyons anyway? I'm afraid I'm not- He's a big- No, I don't- Lucky. Okay. Uh, same stuff. Alright, well, let's, uh- Well- Yeah. She's just standing there, totally normal. Yep. Joey? Uh-huh. God, I'm soaked. I'm <laughs> tempted to just leave. Might as well. I don't think there's anything here. So it's a dead end? We'll come back later, when the weather clears up. Hint, hint? That's all for now. Sure. Kinda wonder why they why she doesn't have an umbrella. Wow, didn't even have to knock? Yes. Hi, is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. No. What? Oh, sure thing. What if I want to ask him the question? into my office. Y you have an office? So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, well, ask away. I, I have some books I'd like to publish. Uh, let's see, what do you do I here? I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling... Whoops, I think I hit something on my keyboard. Risk-free capital? How can it be risk-free? You give really just give away money? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Uh, I do actually, w I would actually like the lowdown on what you do. Uh, let's ask about uh, Monique Stallman first. Monique told me that you invested in Cube Star Films. Monique, oh, oh yes, uh, she's the executive producer, isn't she? Yep. Yes. She's doing a great job. That place is earning money hand over fist. Kind of helps when the their main star dies before the movie opens. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? Of course. Can you believe it? A heart attack at his age. He looked healthy. Of course, who knows what kind of drugs those actors take. Yeah, I don't think he was taking any drugs. Do you know anything about the Minetta? Have you ever been to a bar called the Minetta? Mm, no, sorry. You know Have anything you about the Joe Gould Joe Fund? Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Mm, no, sorry. Well, let's ask about the park Josie gallery. Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How's she doing? She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her, right, Charlie? Sure. Yeah, your brother doesn't speak much, does he? Do you know anything about Joseph Mitchell? Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? Hmm. That name sounds familiar. He was a reporter for the New Yorker magazine. Hey, that's it. Charlie used to work there. Hey, Charlie, did you know Joseph Mitchell? Everyone knew him, Paul. He was a living legend. A living legend? How about that? Hmm. Yeah, things are not looking good here. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Or if they did, they'd charge you a fortune in interest. But not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. And what if it doesn't? If not, we're the one who pays for it. 
Uh, yeah, somehow I think that uh, there's a step missing in there. Cube Star success? films became successful after Frank Lyons died. Did they? I suppose they did. That benefits you too, doesn't it? Oh, I see where this is going. What do you expect us to do? Give back the money? We're a private foundation. Money has to come in in order for money to go out. But a man is dead. Someone died. Doesn't that bother you? Sure, it bothers me. Death is a horrible thing. But I don't see what it has to do with us. You don't see what it has to do with you, Well, huh? thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, hey. Oh, so you're on B-mail, too. <laughs> Is it everybody? Wait, wait, no, no. I, I, I'm not done. God, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie. Come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. Yeah, let's stay, stay in the eavesdrop. I'm gonna snoop around. Uh, I don't trust these guys. He's reading a book called Best Accountant Practices, 4th Edition. Sounds thrilling. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a B mail account? It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. Hey, idea! Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, uh. He's reading a book called Best Wi Fi Charlie. either. Is this wireless internet thing safe? <laughs> of course it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't give you cancer, Paul. Well, I'll stop reading Fox News. It. Give it a rest, Paul. Let's see. Let's I look don't at the float view. through things unless I have to. I gotta keep some shred of dignity. Oh. I can't stand this B mail account. What's the I'm getting all sorts Oops. of spam. I got three from this Tomo person. Who the heck is? Hey, Tomo? we got one from Tomo Just too. Just delete them, Paul. Is that battery parked down there? Man, it's changed a ton since my day. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with Vmail software can log into our email? Only if they have your password, Paul. Just don't tell anybody, and you'll be fine. Hmm. What is his password? Either Paul likes to play, or he wants people to think he does. Hey, when are we going to get a... What's wrong with the one? Oh, come on. It does the job. <sighs> Modern art job. I don't get it. Modern art job. Hey, Charlie, is this... Of course it's sick. I just... It won't get... Then make... Give it a rest. I look at anything else? What Strange the device. That thing? Probably one of those computer things Red's always playing with. <laughs> I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the problem? I'm getting all sorts of... Just a... He seems pretty hard at work. What is he doing at work, anyway? These things are way beyond me. Doesn't it bother you that any... Only if they have. Just don't tell. Is that battery? I don't. Oops. What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh come on! It does. I don't float. I've got no idea what this thing is. Hey, my internet just went. There we go. Stupid wireless. <laughs> it should come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back up. Don't you remember ah, anything? Damn it. It's Tennis 53. Just write it down. No way. Someone might find it. Hey, Tennis 53. Let me make a note of hey, that. Charlie, is this wireless internet thing safe? Of course it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't. Then give it a rest. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, see some of those uh, again, this statements This wireless again. internet is really up and down today. It'll come up again in a minute. Will it? Will it? Are you sure? <laughs> Finally, the internet's back up. What's that B-mail password again? You're impossible. It's Tennis53. Thanks, Emil. <laughs> I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the... I'm getting... Just... 
and the internet's down again. <laughs> It'll come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back. Hey, um, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, the password's tennis53. All right, I think we got Does what we need. Bother you that anybody Only if they have to All right. All right, let's go uh let's go home. Let's go back to the uh our apartment. Let's uh let's talk to Joey let's for talk a moment. Joey. What is it? Plain so what move? should we do now? There's something fishy about that Meltzer Foundation. Indeed there is. I'd love a chance to snoop around there some more. Uh, open notebook. Uh, I don't think we need to talk about anything. Did you see the view from the Meltzer's office? Yeah, pretty impressive. If you had a view like that, I might not mind hanging around while you sleep. My view's not that bad. Sweetheart, we're looking at the brickwork of the building next door. It is beautiful brickwork. You have to admit that, Joey. Did you see the view from... Yeah, if you have... My... Sweetheart, we're... All right. That's all for now. Sure. Yep. Let's switch to Joey for a second. Hey, Dollface, get your head out of the clouds and over here. Hey. Sure, what's up? <sighs> Maybe if you asked real nice, a rich investor would give us some money, too. What would I say? That we need money to hunt down a lost ghost? Rich people are eccentric. They might believe you. That's true. I don't true. think so. Maybe if you... Well, Rich, I... Uh, I don't think we have anything there. All right. That's, uh... Well, let's... Yeah. She's just uh, totally... Meltzer business card, huh? Let's take a look at that. The card can't be used... I don't want to use it like that. Let's see. The Meltzer Foundation. Paul Meltzer. Client relations, Paul M at bmail.com, because surely Paul M is uh, um, not used by anyone else. My computer. It's not the latest. Uh, weren't you talking about earlier getting a different one? Uh, okay, let's log out. Uh, that's right. Paul M. We're just uh, Paul M? Please enter password. Tennis 53. Hey, hey, they don't hide the password. <gasps> so insecure. From Josie Park. Hi, Paul. Just a quick letter to let you know that everything is going great. Our new artist is fantastic, and I can't wait for the opening tomorrow. You will come, won't you? After all, you made this possible. Josie Park, Park Gallery Curator. Charles Meltzer. Paul, I'm going to be out of the office next week to meet with some... Sh with the Charmin Widow. The Charmin Widow. Could you do me a favor and check my email while while I'm away? If I get any anything important, give me a shout. Hmm. Can we see what his email address is? No. Paul, what do you mean you don't remember my password? I picked it specifically so both you and I would remember it. I'm going to drag you screaming into the digital age if it kills me. Uh oh. Special offer. For all your software and networking needs, contact Tomo. Josie Park. Don't be silly, Paul. Of course you can talk to artists. It's not hard. If you're nervous, just Google Artists. It will tell you everything you need to know. Oh. Uh, well, I guess I could try that. Let's try that. What not to say to an artist. This painting is good. Be more thoughtful. Tell the artist why it's provocative to you, personally. What is it? Not all art has to be of something specific. Tell the artist what you think it represents. I like the colors. Yours is a subjective opinion. Ask the artist why the color choices were made. Many viewers are tactless when it comes to an artist's work. I hope this will help you avoid many of the pitfalls. Good luck. <laughs> Charles Meltzer. Paul, the password is that silly name you called me when we were kids. If you've forgotten, I'm sure as heck not going to remind you. Well, I think we'll have to head back there and take a look. Eavesdrop some more. Let's go ahead and close. Hey, are you done with that thing? It's getting kind of late. If you want to catch Claude at the gallery, we'd better head over. Uh oh. Come on, let's get going. 
Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. Alright, well, as is my want, I will save it down here in the hall. There's nothing but more apartments that Rosa says goodbye. See you next time.